Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tom Campbell. I'm the Medical Director of a Weight Management and Lifestyle Center at the University of Rochester. I've worked with many hundreds of people in individual and group settings to adopt a whole food plant-based diet. I'm co-author of the China Study and Medical Director as well of the T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition Studies. I'm going to talk about two of the most common mistakes I see people make who are actually and genuinely following a whole food plant-based diet but not quite getting the results that they want. Before I do, forgive me for just a second, I want to plug an event the first weekend of 2019. My wife, Dr. Erin Campbell, and I will be in California at 1440 where we will share uh, many resources and tips and, and, science, and the science behind it all um, at 1440 in California. So please consider joining us. All right. So when I want people to adopt a whole food plant-based diet, I want them to think about this framework, the, the volume of food that you eat from meal to meal. I want you to think about it uh, in terms of half the volume should come from a healthy starchy food, basically potatoes, whole grains, or legumes. The other half of the meal should come from non-starchy vegetables and or fruit. All right. And so if you are doing that, you are likely going to do very, very well. Of course, that means also avoiding animal foods and avoiding processed foods, including added sugars and added fats. Number one, most common problem when people are first adopting this is they do not eat enough starch. They have had decades uh, of experience with dieting and they listen to me in the food guide and I know in somewhere inside they have to get over this idea that potatoes and corn and, and, and rice are going to make them fat. They need to eat more starch. So a meal for them uh, might be the very typical kind of dieting lunch, just a salad with no beans, no grains, and they're just gonna muscle through these, these low calorie lunches. Well, let me tell you, it's not sustainable. You're not going to stick with it if you don't have a healthy starch with your meals. So very commonly, I'm telling people, you need to eat more food. You need to eat more volume, and you need to include a starch at every meal. That's a big hurdle and a big change for many, many people. So let's say you get that, you get through that, and now you're more established with a whole food plant-based diet and more, more advanced, I would say. And sometimes I see this advanced folks run into the second most common problem, and that is that they don't eat enough non-starchy vegetables and or fruits. So they may have their one pot pasta meals or uh, potato dishes or, you know, uh, rice and bean dish. And uh, suddenly it's all starch all the time. Now, again, I'm, a starch is critical part of this uh, food program. But if you don't have the non-starchy vegetables and fruits, it's so darn easy to overeat, particularly some of these things. You're having a pasta for lunch and pasta for dinner and breads for snacks and cereals for breakfast, etc. You can become a grainitarian and not get the maximum health benefits that you need. So I really encourage people to go back to that initial framework and make sure that you're getting enough non-starchy vegetables and fruit. It may sound obvious, but man, I'll tell you, I see people slide into this all the time, particularly if they start including some of the high calorie plant foods, they start putting peanut butter and everything and, and uh, dried, dried fruits as sweeteners and so forth. And it's really easy to overeat uh, all these starches with, with those types of things on them. All right, so let me wrap up here and just mention again, we're gonna be out in California at 1440 for an amazing weekend. We're even gonna get into their teaching kitchen. We, we talked to them into letting us into their teaching kitchen to talk about some basic food, talk about why you're gonna do this diet, how you're gonna do this diet, have plenty of time for questions and answers, and we're just gonna have a great time. So I hope to see you there and uh, hope this was useful. Have a great day, bye.